Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about what if Deku had Quirk Creation Redo. So, in the last video we talked about how, so, after arriving at the entrance of UA University, he would start to go in as he would see several of the students basically applying to UA University. So, at the start, he would start to go towards one of the, cla like, one of the classrooms to start the written test, which he aced it pretty easily thanks to a intelligence quirk and also a mind reading quirk. So thanks to that, he would start to leave. As the next test would basically start to, you know, start. And this test was the practical exam. Where he met a certain teacher by the name of President Mike. Which Izuku was quite interested in. Because his quirk is a type of sound quirk which he never thought of. And so, during his time basically talking, a blue-haired kid with glasses would basically start to interrupt him. Izuku would basically shut him up as the boy would get offended as he would basically threaten him as he would basically be stopped. So wait for a second. So, after that, they would start to go towards their different, you know, um, areas to go to the practical exam. So after they made it to their areas, they would start to go into the fake city where they're going to be fighting 1-pointers, 2-pointers, 3-pointers, and soon the 0-pointer. So after Izuku jumped into battle, he would basically start to use his quote-unquote quirk, which is a half-and-half -half quirk because after basically, because he knows that if people know that like, you know, he literally has a quirk creation quirk, which allows him to basically create any quirk that he wants. The media would be all around him, and especially back in England, because they thought he was dead. After all, he was the number one villain there. So, he would pretend that his actual quirk, or quote-unquote quirk, is the darkness manipulation and the hardening quirk. So, after a while of basically fighting some of the, you know, one-pointers, two-pointers, and three-pointers, Principal Nezu would basically activate the Zero Pointer, as the Zero Pointer would basically start to rampage into the fake city, as he would see a girl basically hurt and injured. He would basically save her, as he would also destroy the Zero Pointer in an instant. So after that, he would start to leave thanks to the teleportation quirk, as it's the next day. The next day comes as he would get a message or some or at least a letter from UA and apparently he passed and apparently he's going to be in class 1A. So after learning of this, he would start to go back to UA University where he finally gets into his first day of class, which he met up with some of his new classmates including a certain blonde haired bitch. AKA Bakugo. So, after Bakugo was basically raging that Izuku got in first place and also was the greatest out of all of them, which Bakugo was pissed at because he's a little bitch baby, yeah, you probably know why I really hate him. So, so, after a while basically just like, you know, uh, beating everybody and also showing them off his powers, he would also notice that Momoya Yorozu was there. So, when it turns out that Izuku was the highest um, highest student out of all of them, Bakugo would basically start to get mad and starts to try and fight him. But thankfully Izuku defeated them, or at least somewhat defeated them, before he can cause any damage, as all of them would start to leave, but for, like, before Izuku would start to leave, Momo would basically approach him as when they were like, um, oh I don't know, maybe like a little bit of talking, Momo would basically, um, you know, peck him on the cheek, not really the cheek, more like in the lips, she would start to leave as Izuku would be confused. I mean, he did have several times having some fun with some girls, let's just say that, during his career as a villain. <coughs> Sorry about that, wait for a second. He would be super confused and also quite a bit flustered because after getting that, you know, little kiss from her, he would start to, you know, be confused and a little bit, you know, a little bit flustered and not only that, um, how do I say this? He never really felt this feeling. I mean, he did somewhat had love during his time as a, you know, as a villain, but they were just like one-sided love. 
which mostly girls mostly mostly just like liked him because of his you know power but he never really felt any love for them because he only known them for like um, a few months until you know they were useless to him so yeah so after basically you know um thinking of that he would basically fall asleep just you know just did not think of that at all so yeah so that is basically what happened last episode and so let's talk about what happens next and also i'm kind of sorry for making this pretty late this video because i finally graduated i'm now in senior year so yeah I'm done being a junior um, student in my high school, and now I'm going to be a senior at my high school now. And, uh, damn, I felt tired, okay? So I'm really sorry that I made this pretty late, so yeah. And trust me, the graduation was pretty shit. I'm not even kidding. I literally had to, like, sit through, like, outside. I had to sit through outside, and it felt super hot. And goddamn, I felt like it was getting a suntan there. Uh, but even worse, because I feel like it got, you know, sunburn. Anyway, so let's continue the actual story. So, Yuzuku basically wakes up as he would basically start to get ready for his next day of class. So, when he arrives there, he would see the rest of the students are basically there as well, as Momo would basically decide to sit with him. The rest of the girls would notice this as they would think, Ooh, I see. They would basically start to snicker to themselves as Momo would start to get a little bit flustered as Izuku would notice this. As Izuku would say, Ah, oh, great. As he would basically start to look at her as he would start to blush remembering that little time last time. As in, you know, last episode. Where he got that little kiss from Momo. He would start to blush a little bit like almost like a piece of like red dust is basically like spattered all over like spattered all over his face as he would start to blush a little bit more thinking of that and probably even thinking about you know, I don't know maybe like what if that gone a little bit further as he would basically said this to himself don't think that we're in a freaking high s I meant we're, we're in a freaking school for god's sakes as he would basically start to you know dim down as they would basically have a normal class. Yeah, it was just a normal class until their final, you know, class, which is heroics. Which apparently they're gonna be having a special teacher that's gonna be teaching them. As all of them would start, to, you know, all of them would start to, you know, murmur and also um whisper. As Izuku would say this to Momo. Hey, um, Yaya Rose san? As she would say this. Oh, um, just call me Momo, as he would say this. Um, sure, Momo. Um, why is everybody just like, you know, whispering, murmuring, as she would say this. Oh, um, apparently we're gonna be having a special teacher for heroics, as one of them would say this. Yeah, maybe it might be a pretty famous hero or something, as one of them would say this. Ugh, whatever, says Bakugo, as he would say, heh. <laughs> They're obviously going to come to this school because of me, because I have a powerful ass quirk. As he would start to create little explosions, as Izuku would start to get pissed at him. Because he literally has a similar quirk to him. If you didn't remember, one of his quirks was a perfect explosion quirk, which obviously he's not going to use it because, you know, everybody would realize that he has multiple quirks and he doesn't want that. And yeah, so. After a while, basically just like waiting for their brand new teacher, they would hear the sound of stomping, as one of them would say this. Wait, um, is this an earthquake? As one of them, specifically the grape-haired man, aka, you know, um, Mineta would say this. Uh, an earthquake? As he would start to grab... Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Let's just say, like, he grabs his grapes and basically started, you know, sticking them to the desk to basically get ready for more of the shaking. As a wall of shaking later, a gigantic ass force would basically break down the door as they would see All Might. As All Might would say this, I'm coming through the door like a normal person. As they would see that it's All Might, as everybody would start shouting, Wait, that's All Might, as they would basically start, you know, 
um, raving, saying that their teacher is All Might, as everybody would start celebrating, as Izuku would recognize him as All Might as well, because he remembered him during his time as a villain, mostly known by Moriarty, which one time, he sort of accidentally, um, I, I don't know, maybe like, wait for a second, jumped into an, an um, international meeting with the rest of the other number one heroes of different countries, which, let's just say, everybody was just like, excuse me, what? Wait for a second. Everybody would start to celebrate that their new teacher, or the mysterious teacher, or whatever, the mystery teacher, or whatever, is All Might, as Izuku would basically remember that little incident, as he would say this. Oh, great, I hope he doesn't recognize me. As All Might would say this. So, welcome to my heroics class, kids. But before we start this little class, what's with a hero without his or her costume? As everybody would be given their, he like, their, like, they were given their like temporary hero costumes. As when Izuku basically gets his, it was a briefcase with a diamond symbol on it. As you would say this. Oh, I remember this one. As Izuku would start to smile a little bit. As everybody would remember last time that they were given an assignment to basically give their, you know, um, um, how do we say this? Wait for a second. They were given the um, idea to make their hero costumes, which they were told to basically write it down on the paper, what they're supposed to mean or whatever, and they were supposed to give it to the support course. And after he remembers that, he would say this, Oh yeah, my hero costume. As All Might would say this, Now everybody, start going to the locker rooms and then meet me at Ground Zero or something. Um, I can't remember the actual name of that facility, but let's just call it Ground Zero, because why not? So, as everybody would start to leave, Izuku would start to leave as well. So, as everybody is basically wearing their hero costumes, and everybody is basically complimenting all of theirs, well, Momo would basically be anxious to see Izuku, as one of them would say this, Hey, Momo, what are you looking at? As Momo would look over and see Jiro, as Jiro would say this, Hey, Momo, are you okay? As she would say this. Oh, um, I'm just waiting for Izuku. As she would say this. Oh, Izuku, eh? Hmm, I didn't know that you're interested in that boy. As she would say this. Uh, well, we, um, met last time before we came to, you know, UA. Uh, <laughs> as she would say this. Oh, when? Are you childhood friends or something? As she would say this. Childhood friends? Um, no, we actually met, um, a month ago, yeah. <laughs> she would basically start to laugh a little bit as one of them would say this. Hmm, I see. Says one of them specifically, says Todoroki, as Todoroki would say this. I didn't know that you liked that boy. Hmm. Anyway, so I wonder where's Izuku right now. As they would hear the sound of boots stomping on the ground as they would see Izuku in his hero costume. So, when Izuku comes out, they would see that he's wearing some sort of, um, simple, almost gentlemanly type attire with belts basically surrounding his, you know, arm, or specifically his arms, as he would have a jacket basically flowing similar to a cape as he's wearing a mask similar to this. This one. And he also has a top hat, as he looks absolutely gentlemanly, as he would say this. Hello, my fellow classmates, as he would grab his, you know, hat, as he would bow, as everybody would see his hero costume, as they would think, Damn, he looks good! As Baka would say this, Tch, whatever, clown. As Izuka would say this, clown, you say? Hmm. I mean, I can definitely see myself as a clown, but you, you're just a Pomeranian. As Baka would hear this, as he would start to try and attack him, Izuku would dodge out of the way as All Might would basically restrain him, saying, Bakugo, you're not allowed to attack. As Bakugo would say this, But that damn nerd! As he would say this, No buts, Bakugo. As Bakugo would start to, you know, um, how do I say this? Start to murmur to himself as he would say this, 
the damn near doing whatever the hell I want. I'm supposed to whatever to get. I'm supposed to be the one that gets whatever the hell I want. As he would basically start to murmur to himself even more. As All Might would say this. All right, class. So, this is going to be your. This is going to be your heroic class, and so I want all of you to go into this raffle and. If both of you, or specifically, two, um, two, um, you know, students have the same letter or number or whatever, they'll be teamed up together. As one day Zuku goes into the raffle, he would get mm, M, letter M. As Izuku would basically look around, as he would see that Momo also has letter M. As Izuku would be teamed up with Momo. So wait for a second. So as everybody's already paired up with you know their partner. Oh my god, say this. So, class, we're gonna be starting off our little test. In this case, I'm calling it the Heroes vs. Villain test. So, one of you is going to be the villain, and the other would be the hero. So, as all of you were given a letter or number, the letters would be the heroes, and the numbers would be villains. So, because Bakugo, you have number one, and you, Izuku, has, you know, had the letter M, you're going to be the hero, and for you, Bakugo, and your teammate, specifically, as you would start to look over and see Zochako, as he would say this, you will be the villain. And so, they would start to go first, specifically Bakugo and Ochako, they would start to go into the, you know, um, fake building first, as Izuku and Momo would start to wait. So, after the wait is over, All Might would say, Alright team, M, it's time for you to go in now. So, Izuku and Momo would start to go in as they would basically start to, you know, move around, basically looking around as, um, Momo would basically ask this. So, um, Izuku, why do you have a cane? I mean, I never seen you have any back problems or are you hurt? As Izuku would say this. No, it's just for aesthetic purposes, but not only that, as he would unsheath the, you know, um, you know, sword from that, you know, cane, as he would say this. It's also a sword. I absolutely love this thing. Not only it's functional, but it's also quite fashionable. Could you think that? I meant wait for a second. He would say, so, what do you think? As she would say this. Oh, um, it actually looks pretty cool. As Izuku would say this. Thank you, Miss Yayorozu. As she would say this, um, you can just call me Momo. As Izuku would say this, okay, Momo. As they would start to go into the, you know, fake building. As they would start to go in, as they would see several traps laid around them. As Izuku would start to hear explosions. As Izuku would say this, hey, Momo, how would you go ahead? I'll be fighting the Pomeranian. As she would say this, oh, okay. As she would start to leave. Wait for a sec. So, Izuku would start to use his shadows to basically start to create a shadow clone. As Izuku would say this. You'll be sticking to hit. I'll be sticking into the shadows. As he would basically jump into one of the walls. As he would basically fade in to the walls almost like a shadow. Yeah, he's... I kind of forgot that part. He's able to basically go inside of shadows. Basically similar to a certain... What's his face? Um, I can't remember that anime character's name, but he had the name like Shadow something. So, after that, the clone Izuku would basically start to get ready. So, Baku would start charging towards Izuku as he would say this. It's time for you to die, you damn nerd! As he would basically start charging forward as he would create a large explosion. Izuku, or the clone Izuku, would basically start to dodge away, dodge away as Izuku would say this. <laughs> How do you like that? As he would say this, Stop escaping me! As Izuku would basically start to dodge him one more time, and not only that, several times, as Bakko is still frustrated, as Izuku would say this, Now, take this! As he would say this, Shadow Babylon! As several, you know, dark swords would basically start to appear out of nowhere, made from, you know, coming out of shadow-like, um... Mm, portals. As these shadow-like portals would shoot out several of these black swords, or shadow swords, as it would stab into Bakugo, not fatally, but, you know, kind of hurts. 
as Baku would start to scream in panic, as Baku would basically say this, You! You damn little! As you would feel his gauntlets basically filled up, as Baku would say this, Yes! As Baku would start to basically get ready, as you would say this, Now! Try to dodge this, you damn nerd! As you would basically grab both of his gauntlets, as All Might would see this, as you would say, Baku, no, you're gonna kill him! As Baku would say this, Who the hell cares? That nerd deserves to die! As when he does, these large explosions would basically start coming towards him, as the clone Izuku would basically be gone. As when everybody sees the aftermath, they would see Izuku was gone. As Baku would say this, Ha! Ah, that's what you get, you damn nerd! Never mess with a damn... As Izuku would basically appear out of nowhere from the shadow, as Izuku would say this, Take this! As he would basically kick him right in the stomach. As Baku would say this, What? I saw you disappear! I thought I... I thought I... As Izuku would say this, Hmm, Shadow Clone, one of my new techniques that I made. And not only that, I'm able to... Oh, I don't know. As he would basically disappear in a shadow basically behind him, as Baku would basically start looking around saying, What the hell? Where is he? As Izuku would come out of his shadow and basically keeps, like, kicks him right in the back of his head, as Baku would be knocked down. As Izuku would basically stomp on his, you know, unconscious body, as he would say this, I am able to teleport through your shadows, including other shadows. So, never underestimate your opponent, no matter if your quirk is strong or weak. As he would basically just, like, grabs the um, quirk cancelling tape and basically defeats him, he would start to move on, going towards the... Um, upstairs, as he would start to, you know, walk around through the stairs, as he would see Momo fighting against Ochako. Ochako was basically throwing several rocks, more specifically floating rocks, thanks to her quirk, as Momo would basically start to create several different items, from bows to spears to even a goddamn cannon, which Izuku was impressed, as Izuku would say, Why didn't I think of that? Hmm, yeah, that should have been my idea in the first place. I mean, I could have done that instead of using... As he would start murmuring to himself about his past, where he was meant to rob a, you know, a specific, like, um, bank, where he, um, never thought of, like, you know, making a large cannon to basically threaten them, or more specifically the civilians and the, um, um, people there. As Izuku would stop murmuring, as Izuku would basically start to charge in, as Ochako would not notice him, as Izuku would basically kick her in the back, as Izuku would say this, Hey, uh, hey Momo, touch the bomb, you earned it. As she would say this, um, thank you. She would basically touch the bomb, as Izuku and Momo were declared the winner. As everybody would basically, um, basically start surrounding Izuku and Momo, as they would say, Izuku, Momo, you were amazing! As Izuku would say this, Well, it's not all me. I mean, Momo did help me after all. As everybody would start looking towards Momo, as Momo would say this, Um, yeah, but still, you basically did all of the hard work, Izuku. As Izuku would say this, Oh, don't worry, I insist. I mean, you were quite smart in making that large cannon. As she would say this. Why the cannon part? As she would say this. Oh, nothing. <laughs> he would basically start to a little... Like, he would start to laugh a little. As All Might would say this. So, everybody else start to go into the, you know, room immediately. So, after the other students basically get their turn, everybody would start to basically surround, um, you know, I... Not Aizawa, I meant All Might. As All Might would say this. Now... I want all of you to pick the MVP of this, you know, test. So, as everybody would start to say, Izuku, as everybody would basically just like point at Izuku, as Izuku would say this. Oh, little old me? Oh, thank you guys. Wait for a second. As everybody would basically start to explain why they decided to go for Izuku as the MVP, as Momo would say this. Well, the reason why he is the MVP is because of his skill and also his quirk. 
I did know that he was able to create clones though, and also go into shadows, as Izuku would say this. Well, I decided to hide it because of that specific test, and maybe test in the fu and tests in the future. I mean, it's obvious. I don't want my opponents to basically learn all my tricks. After all, if a person were to know your tricks, you would die in the battlefield. As everybody would start to, you know, freeze up after, you know, hearing that. As Izuka would say this. Oh, don't worry about this. I mean, we're still heroes in training, so... As everybody would basically just, like, calm down, and some of them would have a deadpan expression. Except for Bakugo. Bakugo was still pissed off that he basically lost to this kid. That kid that he believed as weak. As All Might would say this. Anyway, so, I want all of you to leave. This class is over. So, as everybody would start packing up, they would start to leave as Izuku would decide to teleport away as everybody is basically gone. So, after he finishes up, he would basically go home as he would basically fall asleep. And that is going to be the end of this episode. So, tomorrow is going to be um, my passion project, I'm just going to say that, because... Oh boy, I've been waiting for making- I've been waiting to make this what if for a long time now. Which is, what if Deku was the only male with a quote-unquote quirk? The reason why I put in the quote-unquote part is because it's not really a quirk. I'll give you a hint on what is his powers. One hero said to be the child of light of Ireland. The other, the downfall of King Arthur. And finally, the most infamous serial killer in all of London. These are the three powers that he gotten from those three people. And guess in the comments, who are these three people specifically? So, this is going to be the end of this episode. So, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye